Okay, so we're back to the bathroom situation again, guys, in the public schools. We're back to it again. This is going to be an issue. It's going to continue to come up. Now, a federal judge in Pennsylvania now has ordered a local school district there to let three, three of their transgender students use the locker rooms and restrooms according to the correspondence of whatever they want their gender identity to be. Okay, they're, they're going along with this here. Now, despite before uh, being forced to use the ones that were lining up with their biological sex, okay? Now, this is going to be tied up into a whole <laughs> big issue in courts, okay? When Donald Trump had reversed Obama's order, which was really a mandate to tell the schools to allow transgender students to use the bathrooms of their choice, okay? Trump came in about a week or two ago and said, that's it, no more. We're lifting this. It was never clear to begin with. There was countless lawsuits were being made against the Obama administration for that, okay? So now Trump comes in and says, you know what? We're not doing that anymore. This is going to come up to the state. It's going to be the state's decision how they want to handle the bathroom issue in schools. It's not going to be up to the government. It should have never been up to the government in the first place, he said. So with this school here, now they're forcing, they're telling these three that they're going to have to use you know, you're going to have to use the bathroom of, you know, your biological sex. You're going to, you're going to have to do it. Well, this is going to the courts now, okay? Now, the three students, which are all seniors, sued the Pine Richland School District north of Pittsburgh after the administrators implemented a policy requiring students to use the facilities that corresponded to their biological sex. The school also had 10 unisex restrooms that all students can use. Now, the administrators instituted the policy after some parents and students complained about their children having to use the restrooms and locker rooms with members of the opposite sex. Makes sense, right? Well, not according to a lot of people. The policy, which was meant to be temporary while district administrators researched a permanent solution. In the ruling on February 27th, U.S. District Judge Mark Hornack predicted that the students were likely to win, likely to win their case on equal protection grounds. He also ruled that the school district failed to show how the, its policy served a compelling government interest. In a similar case late last year, the U.S. Supreme Court blocked a transgender student from using the facilities based on gender identity. All the while, that case awaits review still to this day. Now, the justices are scheduled to hear oral arguments in the Gloucester County School Board uh, versus GG in late March, although it's re unclear right now how the federal government's latest directive on transgender bathroom use will affect the case. So now in the Pennsylvania case, more specifically, Hornack dismissed privacy concerns, saying that the district offered absolutely no evidence whatsoever that the three students violated anyone's physical or visual privacy, other than perhaps one report received by the high school principal back in October of 2015 from a student that, quote, there was a boy in the girl's restroom, followed by a parent inquiry along the same lines in early 2016. There have been no reports of any incidents where the use of a common restroom by any one of the plaintiffs caused any sort of alarm to any other student. So this is going to go to the courts again, uh, like I said, guys. And this is just a big mess. I mean, to think that we're even in a situation to where this is taking place we have cases like this that are actually going to the courts. You know, 10, 15, 20 years ago, this never would have been thought. Just the thought alone of a boy going into the women's restroom because he feels like a girl. He would have been suspended, expelled from school. They wouldn't have any grounds. Say, oh, well, that's, you're not being inclusive. You're not being tolerant of my son because he feels like a girl. Look where we've gone. Look where we've gone as a, as, as a country, as, as the world. We've stepped into this abyss of sin now to where we legalize and we allow these sort of abominations unto God to be okay. They'll call good, they'll call evil good and good evil, as the Bible says. That's where we're at right now. Keep praying. Guys, my channel, CardsFan480. I'm here on both YouTube and also on Periscope. So feel free to subscribe if you guys like what you see. I'll continue to bring you all the latest breaking news, current world events, and Bible prophecy updates. If you guys have never given your life to Jesus Christ, please do so today. Just let me know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know you would like to receive Christ as Lord and Savior. You can be forgiven of all of your sins. Come into the kingdom of God where you'll have everlasting life and a home in heaven for eternity. I promise you guys it'll be the best decision you ever do make. 
to the new subscribers, thank you guys so much for joining up with this channel. I greatly appreciate it. I really do. If you guys don't mind as well, share these videos with your friends and family on social media. Help me spread the word about what it is I'm trying to do here. Bring you guys the news and the current world events from a Christian conservative perspective. I'll be tying in the biblical prophecies for many of these events taking place around the world today. And here at this channel, the goal remains the same. To bring and spread the love of Jesus Christ to a world right now that I believe more than ever before desperately needs to hear it. Guys, I'll be back with more. Take care. Be safe out there. God bless. And I'll talk to you guys soon.